Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 6th grade concept of customary units and how we can convert measurements within customary systems and we'll do it in 5 minutes or less. So a sample problem might look something like this. We're dealing with weight. You might have 3 tons and you might be asked to change that into ounces. Well, there's two things we need to know before we can figure out how we can convert three tons into ounces. First, we need to know how those two units of measurements relate. And what we know is that one ton is equal to 2,000 pounds. And then we know one pound, which is abbreviated LB, is the same as 16 ounces. So you see we have to go through two different steps. We need to change our tons into pounds, and then our pounds into ounces. So first, we need to know how the units relate to each other. But secondly, we need to get into our mind, are we going from a big unit to a small unit, or a small to a big unit? When we're going from a big to a small, as we're doing in this case, because our tons are much bigger than our ounces, and so we're going from big to small, we're going to multiply. If you ever do the opposite, if you ever go from a small to a big, that is when you're going to divide. Let me show you a picture to explain why that works. So we're going to take our three tons. So I'm going to draw three boxes here. Each of these boxes is going to represent a ton. So that's one ton, that's two tons, and that's three tons. Within each of these tons, we have 2,000 pounds. I'm just going to write 2,000, 2,000, and imagine I break each of those boxes into 2,000 pieces. So you see here, so far we have 6,000 pounds. So 3 tons is the same as 6,000 pounds. And then within each of those pounds, we have 16 ounces. So if I could draw 6,000 circles, and within each of those circles, draw a 16, I would have a visual representation of three tons in ounces. And so you'll see there, if we take our 6,000, we multiply that by 16 because within each of those pounds is 16 ounces, then we can get our answer. So then at that point, we're just doing multiplication. And so we have, on one row, we have 36,000. On the next row, we're going to put a zero for our tens place, and it's 6,000. So our answer is going to be, I'll write it up here, 96,000 ounces. So 3 tons is the same as 96,000 ounces. Let's look at another example. So let's change to liquid capacity. Let's say we have 20 pints, and we want to convert that into gallons. Well, remember, we need to do two things. First, we need to see how the two units relate to each other. We know that two pints make a quart, and then it takes four quarts to make a gallon, just like it takes four quarters to make a dollar. So that's step one. Step two is, are we going from big to small or small to big? Well, pints are smaller than gallons because it takes two pints to make a quart, and then it takes four full quarts to make a gallon. So if we're going from small to big, that means we're going to do some division. We're actually going to have to divide it twice. So let's start with pints, and let's change our pints into quarts. So we have 20 pints. We need to take sets of two, and we need to see how many sets of two can we take from our 20, because each set of two is going to make one quart. So let's take our 20. We're going to divide it into sets of two. That's going to get us 10 sets of two, or 10 quarts. So let's do an intermediate equation here. 20 pints is equal to 10 quarts. Now we need our 10 quarts. We need to divide those into sets of four. We have our 10 quarts, and every set of four here is going to be one gallon. So let's take our 10 divided by sets of four, and you'll see that we are going to get a little bit of a decimal here, but that's fine. It's going to be 2.5. So 20 pints is the same as 2.5 gallons because it takes 10 quarts to make 20 pints and 2.5 gallons to make those 10 quarts.